Hi, James here. Today I'm going to have a look at a new feature of Harmony, which is the deformation tools and how they work with an arm and a hand. And they're a really nice tool which basically allows you to deform solid objects. You'll see this is just a box that sort of has a couple of curves on the edge. So it's nothing special and you can make a whole arm out of this with muscle bulges and all that sort of thing. Today the focus is going to be on just setting it, rigging it, getting rid of a couple of the problems. I'm also going to set up a muscle just because it's such a nice thing to do. And I'm going to show you how to attach a hand. Because if you use a usual child-parent hierarchy, you'll notice that the hand just deforms in a funny fashion. So the first thing you want to do is just select your arm. And I'm sure you can draw these and you don't need to watch me draw them. They're very basic and you can draw much better ones than I can. So I'll just leave that to you. So I'm just gonna switch the scripting tools off because this is I think how you'll see Harmony when you open it. And you'll have these deformation tools up here. Now, if you don't see them, you just right click and you can pick the deformation and they'll appear. So what you wanna do is hit your rigging tool and we're just going to put a bone or two bones down the arm. So you just one click at the base, one click at the articulation point, and one click at the end of your arm. Now you could go on again and add your hand and do add a third bone, and that is one way to approach it. But today I want to approach it just as the hand being a separate drawing and it's just going to be something I'm going to handle separately so that you can see how to make a child and for it to move with the arm. So now we've done that, you flick your animate button off, we can just move this and you can see that it articulates. Immediately you can see this problem here. You have this crossover and to get rid of this we're going to use the fold module. Now just before I do that I'll just sort of talk about the deform tool a little bit. Now you can see that I go along the middle of the bone and wait till I get this rotate and I use that and that allows me to keep the bones and set length which for me are really great and it means that I keep all of the same proportions to my arms. But if you're working like on a Fantastic Four rubber man type of thing you might want to grab the end point and drag it out and do some really strange deforms and that's something that you can you know, you can do that too, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, if you want to keep the proportions, I'd leave those alone. So, I'm just going to pop it up so we can see this fold problem. And so now, the way to do this is you're going to head into your network view. And if this is a mess, you just open your scripting, select everything, and you either choose all the network down or all the network up and it'll automatically reorder it for you. Now, if you're, when you get used to it, you'll just get used to the settings that you like personally. I've already organized my network a little bit, so I'm not going to use them. So I'll turn that menu off and we'll use this arrow that's pointing horizontally and when you click on it, it'll allow you into that group. When this and then it'll allow me, we want to go into the first set. And as you can see, we have all of our modules relating to our bones and our articulation are all here. So, our problem is occurring between this sort of articulation point and this bone. And that's, when you get that problem, it's always going to occur in that place. So I'm just going to drag the bone down so we have some space. And I'm going to go to all of our modules. No, I'm actually going to go to the deformation modules. And I'm going to grab fold. I'm just going to block it in between. And we'll go back to our camera view. And you'll see that while it looks the same, it actually isn't. So what I'm going to do is you click on the deformation arm. And you click this icon here which is show selected deformers and hide all others. Now I've selected those deformers 
which means I'm going to select everything and all the children, hit the button, and as you can see, this new blue line appears, and this is the fold. So now, if I zoom in, I'm just going to pan around, I'm going to grab this bottom arrow, and I'm going to place it right in the center of our articulation. I've found that by placing it in the center of the articulation, I have the maximum control. You may want to place it in a different point, and that's absolutely fine. And now you can just go up here and grab this, and you can move it around to get a different effect. You can also grab these to affect how they draw across. So if they move it down, you can get that deliberately drawn across. And that may be a nice effect. You know, you might want your arm when it folds up to have that lying across. So that's something you might want to do. So, now we've done that, you can actually animate this arm. But before I do that, I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to take this back down. And we're going to go to our network, and I'm just going to add our muscle module. So we throw that underneath their fold and hook it up and now simple as that we have a muscle now of course in the network view you can go through you can change how your muscle works so you can read about how all of these affect it and it's really fun playing around and getting different muscle shapes and yeah it's Something that's really interesting, you can have the down muscle act differently to the up muscle and there's plenty of settings and just open the manual and read about them and I'm not going to go through all of those now because it's really a personal choice type thing and the default settings, as you can see, give quite a nice little muscle. So I'm just going to now show you how we can move the hand with this. So you want to go to your network view, hit back to top, click on your deforma deformation arm, and up here we have a create kinetic output. What that does is it creates another output on your deformation arm, which just gives the position information out of it. So we throw this down, and you'll see another node appears here. Plug it into your hand. And done. Now I'm just going to go into our timeline. I'm just going to animate something really quickly. So let's just expand these out. Let's throw our animate button on. And we'll drill it. We need to go to this first frame. Put a keyframe on it. Put a keyframe. I used F6 to place the keyframe. So now, now we have our arm curl. Oh, one thing, you'll also find that you get the actual result of the fold looks much better in render view. So don't rely on the OpenGL view as being what the fold is doing. Rely on the render view. And it's often best to set it up in the render view. But So let's have a look. We're looking good. We're looking good. I mean, here is not looking so good. So let's go out, throw down a keyframe here. And we'll throw down one. So there where it's looking good. And we'll just grab this. And we'll fix it up. And we'll grab it here. it up and now you can see that we've you know fixed up our fold problem and it's all looking very good now and so now you have a simple sort of curl and that carries along our hand with you and I hope you know that you found this lesson useful if you did give it a thumbs up and 
Also leave comments and let me know what sort of lessons you'd like to see or if it was boring or anything like that. And thank you for spending your time watching and I hope you have fun animating.